This segment of Naperville Sports Weekly is brought to you by BMO Harris Bank. I'm here with Connor Lovely, the shortstop from Matia Valley Baseball. Thanks for joining me today, Connor. Thanks for having me. Now, looking at the team so far, sitting at 12 and 12 overall, 500. How have you felt the the season's been going for you guys uh, at, at about the midway point? Uh, the season's been a little bit up and down. We've had a uh, had a lot of one run losses that we've tried to overcome, and we've had a couple of big series wins, uh, namely Wheaton North and Lake Park, Naperville North, some really good area teams. So I think just moving forward, we're trying to get on a roll, uh, try to maintain some more consistently, both on the field and uh, on the mound. And you mentioned the, the win over Lake Park, guys coming off, a, you took two out of three in that series, coming off a big 9 nothing win. Is that going to that gonna add a little bit of confidence for you guys, taking two out of three against a tough uh, DVC opponent like that? Yeah, I mean, obviously, uh, we've had an up and down season, as I said before, uh, rolling into a Bonzi today. I really think that uh, some of those wins can help build our confidence. Uh, it just shows that we can compete against really any team in the area. We just need to make sure we're playing a full and complete game rather than just hitting or just pitching and not being able to do the other two phases of the game. And you mentioned Wabonzi's coming in today for a makeup game. Weather can be a little unpredictable throughout the baseball season. Does it ever is it ever a challenge for you guys kind of having to deal with, you know, you guys might get amped up for a game and then it gets rained out and kind of the unpredictability of the schedule, does that ever kind of affect you guys or is it is it more of a, you know, you know the game's happening, you can kind of kind of get it going then? It's uh I mean obviously it's difficult to uh, keep getting games rescheduled just cuz we live in Chicago, it's pretty difficult to maintain a consistent schedule throughout the year, but I think just the main focus of the team is uh, making sure we have the same mindset going to each and every single game, making sure we're uh, playing a clean, uh, good, fundamentally sound baseball game, and that's uh, the key to getting some big wins here in the DVC. And you guys have had a lot of games against Wabonzi in, in the, the past years, you know, coming over from the UEC together. But Wabonzi took, uh, took the two games already in the series, and, and this, uh, this third game, it's got to be a big one for you guys, uh, would, would you say, in order for, like, for confidence, for, for Avoiding a sweep against one of the one of the better teams in the conference. Yeah, I mean, well, Bonzi is a great team this year. They have some really solid pitching. Uh, they took two two out of the first three games. I feel like uh, just getting this third win uh, not only will help our confidence, but at the same time help uh, regional uh, seedings and whatnot. And I feel like just getting a big win over a rival team is always big. Now, one of the games uh, against Wabonzi, Jason Neville came out had just a phenomenal performance against you guys. Um, how does it feel as a hitter? in a game like that when, when things really aren't going your way and knowing that just baseball is one of those games where it is you know you kind of got to take it by each at bat by every day throughout such a long season but uh, was, was that one tough for you guys to kind of overcome or was that kind of once the game ended on to the next one? Uh, I mean you always have stuff to learn from uh, if after a loss whether it be a no hitter or uh, you just get blown out so it's uh, I think from that game we just make sure we need to improve our uh, approaches at the plate uh, coach is always making sure we're staying on our backside, making sure we're not uh, leaning out in front of balls, and that's uh, what I think I was doing that game. I was a little out of my front foot, uh, as long uh, along with some other uh, kids on the team, think they could have had better approaches against Neville. Uh, I think we might be seeing them today, so uh, I know we'll be all be chomping at the bit to make sure uh, it doesn't happen again. If it doesn't, all the power to them. But if it does, then just got to make sure we uh, bounce back and uh, learn from our mistakes. So you mentioned kind of kind of learning from mistakes from, from previous games. How much goes into practice about actual like matchups, guys you're facing uh, at the high school? I mean, I know you know the major league level they do so much, you know, knowing exactly what guys are going to be throwing. How much at the high school level do you guys kind of talk about, you know, what pitches a pitcher might throw, or kind of knowing those kind of tendencies that they go with? Uh, I mean, going into each and every game, uh, it's not necessarily a big uh, pitch by pitch type of type of setting where you uh, learn and research the type of pitches they're throwing. Uh, going into each and every series, though, I know the coaches really uh, key in on what hitters do. So uh, game one, I'll be pitched all fastballs. Game three, I might be pitched all curveballs or vice versa, depending on how I'm in that series. So uh, it's not necessarily the pitching because you only see them one, uh, one time per game or one time per season unless you see them in the postseason. Uh, but more uh, against the hitter, trying to learn their tendencies if they're out on their front foot, if they're casting, stuff like that. And you're a two-sport athlete as well, quarterback of the football team uh, earlier in the season. Now, football, that one, a lot of game tape, a lot of stuff is overseen. What are some comparisons between the two based on just kind of prep work prep work going into a series? Uh, football, I mean, it's week by week. You uh, know you're playing every single week. You know uh, your opponent, and you have four games of film on them. Uh, it's a lot more preparation in terms of matchups, who you want to exploit on the other team. Uh, what they're going to be throwing at you. But, uh, with baseball, just because it's such a long and uh, grueling season with so many games, it's uh, more pitch by pitch, play by play, just trying to make sure you're doing your own things correctly, make sure you're playing your own game. 
because uh, we feel like if we're playing our own game, playing a full and complete game, we can win a good amount of games this season. So it's not necessarily the matchup against the other teams, just trying to focus on what we're doing and try to improve every single day. I want to take a look at the football season a little more closely real quick. Um, about 500 for you guys, you know, probably not the season you guys wanted, but had some big moments as well. Um, kind of got a note on the, the, the fourth quarter comeback you guys had against Naperville North in week two. I believe you guys were down about 21 points in the fourth quarter, and you led some just awesome touchdown drives, had some huge passes in that one. How did that game feel for you guys, and, and what did that one mean for the confidence early in the season? I mean, uh, the Naperville North game was great. Uh, I didn't start out too hot first half. I mean, I threw three picks, and then uh, we ended up coming back. Uh, we, threw, we had uh, three touchdown passes the second half to uh, end up coming back and winning that game. Uh, I think that that just really builded the team confidence, made sure or uh, ensured to us that we could compete with anyone no matter how we started off or how the game started. And I feel like that's led into, the, led into every single sport here. I mean, uh, here at Matia Valley, we're still a young school, still trying to build some culture, and uh, getting big wins in multiple and various sports is really huge for the entire athletic department. And got to talk about the, the game you guys had at North Central College as well. First time the school getting to play on that big stage. You know, Nico, Nico and Obanzi have been playing in that one for a while. But for you guys to get out there, come out, and Wabanzi kind of had an up-and-down season but ended up being, you know, in the state semifinals. So obviously a phenomenal team. You guys were able to come out and kind of shock some people and come away with that win there. How did that one feel for you, playing under the lights, having a, having a great game in that one and coming out with a big win? Uh, I mean, that game felt great. Uh, again. Uh, just competing against the teams in the area, some of the top teams in the state. It's just really huge to get those wins against some marquee opponents, especially the ones that have some historic runs in uh, state playoffs. Uh, both Nikwa, uh, Wabanzi, all those types of all those types of teams. We're just looking to come out with the win, uh, regardless of how we get there. Just really big on trying to play our game and trying to get those wins, and it'll really some build some school confidence as well as some team confidence. Just a few months left here uh, in your high school career. Do you have uh, Do you have plans for for the next level yet? Uh, next year I'll be uh, going to TCU. Uh, I was discussing going to play baseball or football. I had some uh, I had D1 offers for both sports. Uh, ended up choosing that TCU uh, with the scholarship they gave me for academics and the finance degree that they have. I feel like that's, uh, that's my best option right now and I feel like I'll be able to become a business leader hopefully and uh, hopefully study and do well. Congratulations on that one. And uh, I guess uh, in, in the last kind of few months you got, you got here, um, what are some things you're looking to accomplish both on and off the field uh, here at Matia? Uh, on the field, I mean, we're just trying to build, build off each performance we have. Every single year we want to get to 20 wins. Uh, right now it's uh, pretty tough, but we can still do it. I uh, just need to get on a little bit of a roll here at the end of the season, which I think is very attainable. Uh, every single year trying to win a, win a regional championship and I feel like that's very plausible as well this year. We have some really solid starters, really good offensive prowess right now. Uh, all hitters one through nine seem to be really raking right now. It's uh, built some confidence around our team and uh, off the field uh, just graduate, uh, have a fun end to senior year. I don't think I'll have any issues with graduating but it's just uh, a big historic moment in everyone's life to graduate high school and finally uh, step up to the next level of college. Well, congratulations on uh, your time here at Matia and, uh, you know, the, the accomplishments you've had both on and off the field in uh, a couple of different sports. And uh, hopefully you've gone to bigger and better things. And thanks for joining me today. Thank you very much. Appreciate it.